back on the channel with the first Wear OS by Google smartwatch to use the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 platform called TicWatch Pro 3. Compared with the smartwatches using the Snapdragon Wear 3100 platform, the Snapdragon Wear 4100 offers improved performance for the CPU, for the memory, GPU and the battery life, which in this case it's improved with 40%. For the price that you pay for TicWatch Pro 3, you got quite a lot of specs, fantastic specs if I can say, which we're gonna discover on today's video. And looking on this small but really nice package, we find out that this TicWatch Pro 3 GPS is coming with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage. We got extended battery life, dual display and 10 plus professional workouts mode. On the back, we're gonna discover that this smartwatch is coming with up to 72 hours of battery in smart mode and 45 days in the essential mode. Also support for IP68, HD heart rate, stress and sleep tracking, Google Assistant, 1000 plus watch faces on Google Play, dual display speaker and mix support, pay on the go with Google Pay and powerful GPS built in. And let's do a quick unboxing to this uh, smartwatch apart the fact that you already saw the smartwatch um, aside on the table. So we got this uh, small package, it's quite light even with the watch inside. Also if we press a bit we're gonna find out that we got the actually box which is a quite hard one, nice. So it's protecting uh, the smartwatch very well, easy to take it off. Also, we're going to find out uh, that we got a quick uh, guide to show you how to set up your smartwatch for the first use, showing you the buttons and how to press it and what does it mean when you press it, let's say for once or twice. Also, in the package, we got this uh, beautiful smartwatch, well presented. Let's uh, leave it here at the moment. Also, we got this uh, charging cable. It's a magnetic cable. Also, we got some uh, papers, product safety information. Okay. And another small uh, card, customer care and membership benefit. And uh, one more paper with a TicWatch Pro GPS and a bit of the specifications. If you can see, it's looking really good, well made, well protected, and just easy to take it off. Just um, take this off, off one more time, and you'll be able to use the smartwatch. It's very easy to attach this uh, magnetic uh, charging cable to the smartwatch, and you just have to attach it like this, and holds quite all right, to detach, just pull it off. The Tic Watch Pro 3 is not a small, but in the same time, not a large watch with a diameter of around 48 millimeters and a deep of 12.2 millimeters. It also feels quite light in the hand and um, quite comfortable. Also, Movo includes a single wrap strap into the box, which is made of silicone, but the look and the feel makes you think it's made from leather. Also, you can replace this um, strap with any standard 22 millimeter watch band. Also on the back of the smartwatch, you got the name writing down here, tick watch. Also, you got this magnetic charging port, the sensor to monitor your blood oxygen saturation, the heart rate, your level of stress, and so on. Also, you got the name, write it down, the brand, and the model number right here on the back. The smartwatch is coming on this shadow black color, also is coming on this cool design. And if you can see, we still got some number across the screen bezel, which still I like it, I don't mind. And when I use the smartwatch, I actually forgot that I do have numbers around the screen bezel. On the side, you got two physical buttons, where this one serves as a home button. And also if you hold it with open the Google Assistant, also, the other button can be customized to open different applications. Also, you got one microphone right here. And on the other side, you got the speaker. So you can make calls or listen from uh, responses from the Google Assistant. 
which in my opinion it's quite a great and cool feature. And after setting up your device, you just have to connect uh, to the Wear OS app or to the Mobvoi app in order to benefit for even more features. And if you can see at the moment, both the smartwatch and the phone, it's connected. Also, you can connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, which is quite great. Also, with the help of the app, you can choose from more watch faces. You just have to go on watch face, just wait to load. And if you can see, you go to more faces, you can tap on any, you can apply to the watch, and then it's going to be installed on your device. But to explore all the features that this smartwatch is coming, you just have to go straight to TicWatch Pro 3 GPS. TicWatch Pro 3 GPS, it's coming with this 1.4 brilliant Retina AMOLED display, really cool colors, quite vivid, and a large 454 of 454 resolution. Also, it's coming with an automatic brightness adjustments and up to 72 hours of battery life into the smart mode. Dual display means that you can benefit of a better battery life if you're gonna switch on the essential mode up to 45 days of battery life which means it's gonna show up something like this and you're gonna have access only on a few features. If you can see on the main display we got the time which means this smartwatch is coming with always on display and with a simple touch, you'd be able to go on the main display and again with a touch and hold, you'd be able to change the faces of the smartwatch by scrolling and choose which one you like it. Also, you got the option to choose from even more faces, just scrolling down a bit more and just choose which one um, you like it. And then tap it one more time and you'd be able to set up on the main display and depends on which one you're choosing, you're going to benefit from different features. For example, this one showing you the battery, the date, time and the weather. Also, if you're going to choose, let's say, a different one, let's scroll a bit more, you'd be able with a simple touch to activate the Google Assistant and you can ask him, um, tell me a joke. And the sound coming from this speaker, it's quite good, not that loud, but it's good enough so you can hear, let's say, a conversation between uh, you and somebody else when you're making a phone call. Also through this microphone, it's quite very good, so uh, the other one can hear me without any kind of problems. Scrolling back and going on this uh, left side, you're going to find out the Google Assistant showing you some information. Also, scrolling down from the top to the bottom, you're going to find out this uh, K menu and you got a few, let's say, um, shortcuts. Also, if you tap on the pay, you'd be able to set up a different way to make a payment with your smartwatch. Also, one more time going on this uh, setting menu, you're going to find out uh, different settings, starting with the display where you can change a watch face. Also, you can adjust the brightness from bright to normal dim. Going back, front size from small, normal, large. Always on screen, so you can set up uh, to be shown the time all the time on the main display. Touch look and the screen timeout from 5, 10 or 15 seconds. Going back, you're going to have the sound. Media volume. You can choose how loud to be. Going back, alarm volume, again, how loud to be. Ring volume, also vibrate for calls and watch ringtone. You can choose from different songs. Also, you got apps and notifications. You got app information and it's going to take you through all the apps that you got on the smartwatch. App permission, notification previews, do not disturb mode vibration pattern and so on. You got also gestures and the gestures you got tilt to wake, touch to wake and four navigations. And having gestures means that you can do like this. Yeah, you can have access to the settings. Going back and one more time, 
you're going to activate notifications and you can even scroll on notifications if you got any by just twist your wrist on the left side which at the moment I do not have so it doesn't show up any notification but it's cool to have gestures and you don't have to touch your screen so you just have to twist your wrist in order to access the settings or to go to the notifications and moving from the gestures to the connectivity you can choose from Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, airplane mode or the location if you're going to touch on the Wi-Fi it's going to show you that the Bluetooth would be the first choice but going to Wi-Fi you're going to have to choose from uh, let's say your connection and I did choose it, I connected and it did ask me for the password and then move me to the smartphone going back, going back, accessibility, magnification gestures, text to speech, power button and call general, moving on general, show and read dot, auto launch media controls and large watch tutorial personalizations, account, screen off, and um, so on. So you've got so many features and options to set up on your device. Also on screenshot, for example, enable the screenshot, press the power button and the function button at the same time like this. And you're going to have a screenshot in a second. Okay, let's go back on the storage. Yeah, this one is coming with 8 gigabytes of internal storage so you can install um, many apps on your device if you can see you show me all the apps and how much uh, they have like 7 megabytes which is not quite a lot and with 8 gigabytes you can install um, a lot of apps also on the system you go the essential mode date and time restart turn off disconnect and about okay the essential mode if you touch it is gonna extend the battery life with a simple touch of the button and it's gonna show up only a few features also if you're gonna scroll on the left you'd be able to find out even more features shortcuts for example heart rate and number of steps one more time you're gonna find out the weather one more time events and you can set up an event and you got also news and with a simple touch you'd be able to find out that you can see actually a photo and the title of the news and let's go back and let's say if you want to choose one and you want to read you just have to open on the phone so let's say we got the phone right here and uh, tap it okay it did and just open right on the smartphone and now you'd be able to read for example that news okay let's put this away and let's say if you want to customize this you just have to tap and hold and you'd be able to add even more tile for example calculator hand wash timer timer breed and uh, let's say this one just tap it and one more time you'd be able to see it right on the display going back you just have to swipe on the left and you'd be able to go on the main display for example if you're gonna listen some music let's say on your smartphone you'd be able to find out that it can display on a smartwatch you'd be able to play a song just touching one more time you can set up the volume by touching the display which is quite good and actually you can put on pause on play or let's go down and even change the song which is quite cool feature if uh, I have to say and it's quite good you can control let's say you leave the smartphone on the table and you can control everything even the songs and the sound with a simple tap on your smartwatch and to access the main features going to the main menu you just have to press once on this top button and then you're gonna find out all the features that uh, this smartwatch is coming with scrolling it's quite fast very responsive 
and um, I quite like it. Okay, let's go back on the top and on this phone option, you're going to have the chance to call somebody, which I did quite uh, one minute ago. And uh, let's make a call, a quick uh, phone test. Hi, you can hear me? Yeah. This is only a um, phone call test, so I just want to test out the microphone and the speaker. So if you can ah. hear me, it's quite good. Yeah, I, can, I can hear you. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's good. If you can give me a call back, would be also um, good for me. All right, let me just prepare some things and I will call you back, okay? Thank you. Bye. Okay, and I just close that uh, phone call and let's wait to call back and um, let's see what's happened. Okay, and now in the same time I can hear that it's calling even on the phone and even on the smartwatch and I have the option to choose from uh, yes or no. Just type on yes. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you quite perfect, which is good. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you for your call. Thank you again. Bye. Bye-bye. So this is actually the wife, which is upstairs. Hmm, it was a light that she's walking. Anyway, let's move up to the tick health, which on this uh, you can uh, make your profile. Let's say you choose male, date of birth and date and the height also the weight and once it's set up you can have access let's say to other features to the steps heart rate and so on tick exercise you can choose from many options to outdoor run outdoor walk indoor run cycling indoor cycling freestyle pool swimming rowing machine elliptical machine body mechanics trail running, well, so many options, even yoga. Going back a bit, you got tick pulse and um, warm up. You got a nice animation and you're going to have also uh, analyze data and it's showing you fat burns, warm up, resting time and during the last week also. Okay, let's go back and you got tick sleep. And it's showing you how many hours are you sleeping and you're gonna have also a, a lot of data how to use it and showing you weekly average or today and you're gonna have a nice uh, analyzed data on your display you got also um, tick breath and on this moment you just have to relax let's say for a minute and it's showing you how to do that with some nice animations for example stay relaxed with breathing and we just have to follow um, these um, words inhale and this is actually showing you how to inhale and how to relax even more so you got one minute where the watch is going to help you to get more relaxed also you can feel a vibration coming through the smart watch and uh, that vibration it's when you want uh, inhale mode and now it stops which means you have to exhale which is quite a good and interesting feature on tick zen you're gonna have also some shortcuts and if you're gonna scroll down you're gonna see the level of your stress highest lowest and average stress distribution relaxed low stress medium stress and high stress and also it's showing you for the whole week how stressed you've been moving on tick oxygen this is gonna measure the blood oxygen from your blood and um, let's have a look what's my blood oxygen at this moment make sure your watch is well secured to the wrist and hold still okay it's gonna measure if you can see it's on 96 percent which is normal 
Of course, doing this review, I may get a bit stressed and staying on different positions. And uh, highest today 96, lowest today 96. Record for this week, highest this week was 98, which was even better. So if it's between 95 and 100, 100%, it's a very good um, score. On tick hearing, if you tap it, you'd be able to find out the noise around you. And let's say if I'm talking a bit loud, it's going to modify to dangerous or it's going down on intense. And um, it's going down a bit more. Moderate because I didn't talk. But once I'm talking, the noise would be loud actually. So it's starting from 30 to 120. So it depends how noisy it's around you. It's going to show up on this um, display. And moving from the noise, here you're going to find out the voice memo. Calculator, the alarm, stopwatch, timer, even the weather showing you the temperature, also um, the day and the temperature for the following hours. Let's go back, you go to contacts, which is quite the same like we did on that phone call. You got uh, Google Pay, so you can set up a method to pay with your smartwatch. You got the agenda, which is quite the same like the contacts. You got the essential mode, you got the torch, once you tap it, you're going to have like a lantern. Find my phone, let's tap it on this, and let's wait to ring, and then uh, you're going to find out your device. That's good. I find my phone. Okay, fit, breed, also translate. So, uh, translate uh, something on different languages. If we tap it, you say um, hello. Yeah, find it. And you show up, salute, which is quite right because it's my language. Okay, let's go back. You got fit goals, fit heart rate. Let's go on fit goals. You can set up different goals to do your activity. Number the steps, calories and uh, kilometers this week it's quite bad for me because uh, being locked down i couldn't go far away and i mean from home so most of the time i've been uh, around the house also fit heart rate is going to monitor your heart rate the heart beating rate and if you can see it's quite uh, high because uh, i did uh, make this video at the moment and um, yeah the position is not very good i have to be focused and maybe not that much relaxed we got a nice animation and if you can see it's quite high at the moment still high but let's move on you got this uh, hand wash timer and uh, you got 40 seconds to wash your hands quite very well and i quite like this feature it reminds you that on these times you just have to use um, more hand wash and be very well protected against this uh, not very good virus, let's see. Okay, let's go back. And what else we got? Play Store. And tapping on the Play Store, you're going to have access to the apps, apps on my device. Okay, that I can install also. I can tap it and just install the app on my um, smartwatch. The size of the app, 10 megabytes. Let's go back. Recommended for me, essential for Wear OS, streaming audio, track your workout. And actually, these are my apps right here. Update available, update all. So, Tick Health for Wear OS, it's coming with an update already. And recently, update Google and so on. So, it'd be able to install or uninstall the apps from uh, the play store or even from the smartwatch on reminders if you got any reminder yeah if not you can um, add one you'd got uh, google maps it's quite accurate i can say that it's very accurate at this moment wow that's uh, cool okay let's go back you got games 
so you can uh, play games on the smart watch tap to play I'm not very good on uh, games of course try again and let's go out okay you got Shazam with this option if it's a song yeah you can uh, tap it and it's gonna try to recognize the name of that song and um, fit workout also you can customize these icons by holding and it's gonna be like an animation and you can pull it down or move it on the right or even up and then just have to touch on the screen and yeah you can move your applications so this was the tick watch pro 3 gps a very good uh, smart watch really interesting cool design with a very good uh, chipset quite a lot of memory a good battery life also you got a dual display which you can extend the battery life you got so many workouts mode also you got the gps and um, you probably just saw that it's quite accurate and i did test it you got google assistant so you can uh, ask everything on the google you can make phone calls and uh, actually the sound is pretty good you can control the media let's say on your smartphone and you can access different settings that you have on your smartwatch also you can make payments which is quite very good and uh, what can i say more you just have to discover the smartwatch and like i said on the beginning i did play quite a lot with this and i forgot about my um, phone also i didn't uh, use my smartphone that much on these days because uh, this smartwatch just uh, have so much to offer and uh, i prefer to just play a bit more with this but if you want to discover all these features all these functions with this uh, tick watch pro 3 gps well have a look i'm gonna leave a, a link on the description it's gonna take you to the website where you're gonna discover all these functions all the specs that this TicWatch Pro 3 is coming with and also they just released another TicWatch Pro 3 with an LTE mode so you're gonna have actually a SIM card on the device so you can make the phone calls without having access to your telephone being said thank you for watching this video give it a like share if you want subscribe to the channel and see you soon with another interesting one